Hey, what's up, fellas? If you're not familiar with Robert Kiyosaki, I invite you to become familiar with him. Robert Kiyosaki is a best-selling author. His most famous book is Rich Dad, Poor Dad. It's a book that, that not only transformed my life, but also transformed my family's life. After my brother, I gave my brother that book after he was about to do what most people do, you know, when they start making more money, they upgrade their house, they start buying more liabilities. Well, my brother learned how to buy assets and he's turned that into a lot of money over the last 10 years. I'll tell you, Robert Kiyosaki is a excellent financial literacy teacher. And as you know, our current education system does a absolute piss poor job at actually educating anybody on financial literacy. If I knew what compound interest meant, I would have not been buying Moet bottles in the club at 19 years old after watching too many 50 cent videos. But that's a whole nother video. Why I invite you to uh, listen to Robert Kiyosaki is because he can totally help you transform your financial life. And as men, you know, it's important that we have a good handle on our finances, that we know how to grow our money and that we're responsible with our money and traditional school. And depending on your family situation, you're just not going to get it. You're going to have to seek this information. And I really recommend Robert as the guy to go to. Why I also recommend Robert, why I also, excuse me, recommend Robert is because he speaks about financial literacy, not just from a practical standpoint and understanding interest rates and insurance and, you know, different types of ways of investing. He actually uh, talks about finances from an inner world perspective as well. So growing mental, uh, in your mental, personal development, as well as your spiritual development. One of the lessons he talked about mindset really resonated with me and this is the lesson I want to share with you in this video. He talks about the four mindsets that people can have. The four mindsets are, I must win, I must be liked, I must be right, I must be comfortable. I'm sure you can already see how those mindsets are producing different results. I know for me, when I, when I looked at that quadrant, I realized that most of my life was driven by the need to be liked. So I had a mindset that I was unaware of and that mindset was I need to be liked. So I base my decisions on being liked. That means I would sacrifice on good choices, positive choices, things that I know are beneficial to me to satisfy my need to be liked. Well, when I identified that and made the decision to have the mindset of I want to win, I must win, my life started to transform. What's interesting is that I started to lose the need for people to like me and I started liking me better because I was making decisions that were more beneficial. I started winning in my health, in my finances, in my work, in my sales, in my relationships. I just started to develop an I must win mindset that is now seeped into all aspects of my life. This YouTube channel is a perfect example. I never thought that I could really be successful or do something that people would want to watch. However, my YouTube channel, as you can see, continues to grow and grow. The point is this. You want to develop a mindset that allows you to win. Now, here's something that I've personally learned about a winner's, a winner's mindset. A winner's mindset is not a comparative mindset. Now, it's natural that your mind is going to want to compare. But who do you normally compare to? People that you see are more advanced from your perception. We generally don't compare in a very intelligent way. For example, in my business, I used to always compare myself to people who were 10 years into the game. And I'm a year into the game and I'm like, why am I not where they are? Or I didn't realize how much background they had in business. I might compare myself in the gym or on the work, uh, you know, when I'm working out to people who have been working out for 10 years and I'm only a couple years into it, whatever it is. You could see how the mind generally compares not in an intelligent way and definitely not in a beneficial way. Well, when you develop a winner's mindset, you compare, but you use that comparison to compare to yourself. Am I better today than I was yesterday? Am I developing the habits that I know are gonna get me to where I wanna go long term? Robert Kiyosaki will help you develop those habits in your financial life and the lesson I want you to take away today is, where are you? Are you a I must win person? Are you a I must be liked person? Are you a I must be comfortable person? 
or I must be right person. Identify where you're at, see how it's helping you and see how it's hindering your success. Get into the I must win quadrant and you'll start to see new results in your life. Hey, if you like this video, make sure that you like, you subscribe, you hit the notification bell. I got two videos every single week coming to you to keep you motivated, to keep you inspired and to keep you living your best life. Also, make sure you visit my website, nakuladaz.org, put your email address, join me on my mailing list where I'm sending out tips and techniques. I'll hit you up once in a while about retreats and different webinars and events that we've got going on. I look forward to connecting with you more. Namaste. Amen. Hare Krishna.